Hi, let's take a look at the uh, problem we have in front of us here. We're trying to create a very complex select statement. So this report that we have called the largest order report is going to show the quantity of each item listed from the greatest number in one line item to the least number. But we have problems because there's multiple tables here. Quantity, that comes from what table? Probably the order details table. The uh, product, comes from the products table. Contact, that looks like the uh, city, street, and zip code, and maybe state in there. So that all comes from the users table, and so does the uh, customer name. Actually, the contact doesn't come from the users table, it might come from the address table. So what do we got? Customer, we got users, addresses, products, product details, we got all kinds of tables here. So how do we join multiple tables? Let's start with an understanding of our diagram for our ER system, our ER diagram for our database. So in the order details table, we have a couple of the items that we need, and then we have links to orders, products, addresses, and users. So all these foreign keys are going to help us out. So I'm going to switch into my PHP my admin, and let's start building a query one piece at a time until we get something that resembles the final output that we're looking for. So I'm going to start simple. Let's do a select statement, and I'm going to select the um, something from the order details table. Let's select the quantity. And uh, so we put in there from order details. And I'm going to push run or go. So you can see I have one column with all of the order details. OK, now let's add another feature here. I'm going to sort this. So I'm going to say order by, and I want to order by the quantity. So this time we get a sorting. It goes from one to the highest number. Let's edit that and reverse it. So we choose another feature called descending. DESC is the shortcut for descending. And now you can see that 55, 22, 15 is now the order. Now we're going to add some more things. So let's say I want to add in another table. Well, we kind of know how that works. We just specify up here with a comma. And then we say, I want to add the, let's say, the order, uh, orders, and let's get the ID number from it. So then we have to ask ourselves, what table does that come from? Well, it's coming from the orders table. So let's have to, we have to do a join, and we have to say orders, and we're going to join this by saying orders dot, dot ID is equal to, let's go to order details. And do we have a column that is a, we do have a column, it's called the orders ID. That's a foreign key. So we have a foreign key match on these two. So if we were to look at the uh, ER diagram, we can see that order details has this link here between the two tables. So that's the foreign key relationship. Okay, we're going to try it out. Go. And now we see these two here. So. ID is telling us the order ID. Let's go edit that. We'll make it a little bit clearer. We're going to say, we're going to rename this as orders ID. Now that's just another label that I put in there. It can be any, any text you like. And now you can see orders ID is listed. We're going to add another table now. So let's say I want to put in something from the users. I want to get the users dot, let's say I want his first name. Well, I have to add the users table now. So we're going to say join users on, let's see, what do we get? Users.id is going to be equal to a foreign key on the orders table, I believe. Orders dot, and there is a users ID. Let's join those. And so you can see the first name is now being joined. So you can join multiple tables on any of these different columns. We can add maybe another user's last name and we can see that there's a result there. We got their first name, last name, both of them. What else could we add? We need an address. Let's go ahead and say uh, what is in the address table. Let's go to addresses dot and we got all kinds of stuff we could do for address. Let's say his street address and then I'm going to also add the uh, state and let's see the zip code postal code it's called 
All right, so we have to include the next table. So let's join again. And we're now pulling from the addresses table. And we have to now delete the uh, addresses.id is going to join on another table. Well, if I were to switch into addresses and see what kind of foreign key relationships we have, so we have addresses, and I can either pull them from the orders table or the users table. So I think what I want is to go for the orders table address ID. So let's see if that works. Orders dot address ID. So those should link together and go. And it looks like they're all pulling together. So this is kind of an idea of what you're supposed to do when you make a complex SQL query. You look at the foreign keys as you add new fields up here. So you can add more fields, you can remove them, you can rename them as you can see here, and that will help you get toward this report that eventually you're going to get a table that looks something like this here. So different field names, but the same kind of joints.